Hi there, this is going to be a very introductory tutorial on how to use Ebsynth, the alpha version. In my example, I'm going to be using it with my Deepfake Lab project. I won't be showing you how to use Deepfake Lab, that might be for another video. For this one, I just have the end result and we're going to use Ebsynth to improve the quality of the result. If you don't know what Ebsynth is, you can do a variety of things with this program. It's commonly advertised that you can make paintings come to life, but you can do a lot more than just that. Basically, it overlays something onto a video very accurately, and that can help us with our Deep Face Lab project here. So when starting your own project, you're going to want to first create a folder, just title it whatever, Open that folder and you're going to need three folders within here. One titled keys, another titled video, and one last one titled output. This is my example video. Now you're going to notice something strange about it. It doesn't have any title here. It's not called anything. And on Windows 10, there's a very particular way you can get that done. And it's important to get it done in some cases where you can't get the output to go up sequentially. In my case, I just do this for every project that I have. Basically, you click on it, you go to rename, and now, let's say it was renamed something like hello. You want to delete that. Right click in the box here, go to insert Unicode control character, and just hit LRM. And then click off of it. And now it's renamed nothing. And that's exactly what we want. The very next step, we're going to need some kind of program to convert this video into a bunch of JPEGs. Now Deep Face Lab actually has a program or a bat file that can do this automatically. But if you don't have that, I would recommend this program here. This is called Free Video to JPEG Converter, and I'm sure there's a lot of programs like this all over the internet. Basically, you want to convert this video into a folder of JPEGs of every frame in that video. And that's exactly what this program can do. I'll have a link to this program in the video description below. Click every frame, and now in the Save To option, select where you want the output. Your output is going to look something like this with every frame in your video being a JPEG. You want to go ahead and copy all of those and paste them into the video folder. As you can see, I'll, I already have mine in there. That's step one. Now step two, we're going to be making keyframes. So you're going to want to make a keyframe of the very first frame in this video. And of course, I'm going to recommend using Photoshop for this. So here is my result from Deep Face Lab, which doesn't look that great, but we can slightly improve the results for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm not going to be doing so much improvement here, just a little bit. So I am in Photoshop right now, and I'm just going to make changes here that I think will improve the overall quality of the end result video. And after playing with Photoshop for a little bit, you can get some kind of result like this. As you can see, there's still some issues in the corner down here, but that's okay. This is just a tutorial on how you can use it with Deep Face Lab or just in general. So you just want to save this image into the keyframe folder. Into the folder called keys. So mine just says 0001. Now you would want to scroll down your video folder and select another frame where you think there should be improvement and make a keyframe of that. It's very important that you don't rename any of your keyframes, as they're associated with the exact frame in the video folder. So mine's 001, and it's going to know that that should be replaced right here, and worked off from that. So don't rename anything in your keys folder when you're making keyframes. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to make any more keyframes. Uh, we should still get a pretty good result. Now in the program, you're going to want to select... You don't have to worry about the project directory. Just go to keyframes and hit select and choose the keyframe folder right here. Then go to video and select the video folder right there. And to do that, all you have to do is actually click on the file itself, any of the files, and that should be just fine. So now this bottom part is very important. It's where you want to start. For most cases, you want to start at keyframe number one, but you could change it if you want to take a break and cancel it and then start processing your video again later. In my case, it's the first time running it, so I'm going to keep it at keyframe one. And the stop function here, you want to fill it in at the very end of your video. In my case, it's going to be roughly like 1402. So I put that in here. And that would take a very long time to process, probably an hour, because my computer is not the greatest. And then you would just hit synth and it will start producing the videos in the out folder we made right here. To see an example of what you can make with this, as you can see here, this, is the, this looks like the keyframe that we made, but if I move to the next picture in the folder, we can see that it's translating it to all the other 
uh, frames we have of that video. And that is the benefit of using the absence program. Now, for example, I could go all the way down to, let's say here, and we can see there's some, a lot of issues here, actually. The shadow could be improved. I think the face is coming off right around here and right here. So we could take this frame into Photoshop, make a keyframe of it, run the program again, and we would get a better result. And so you can get really creative with this, basically. You could do all sorts of things, like change the color of his hair, make the hair longer, change the skin tone, the lighting, the eye color, add a mustache, a beard, even paint over this and have it animate with the video, just as the program advertises. But that's been it for this video. If you have any questions or problems, please post down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you subscribe and like this video to support the channel, and I'll see you next time.